continuing with the common criteria, we get into evaluation and uh, the evaluation assurance levels. And uh, to a certain extent, um, we are looking somewhat more at the uh, the assurance requirements, but um, well, that's I, I suppose you know just evaluation is uh, in in terms of the common criteria. Uh, obviously, the the testing it's it's the comparison, the analysis of a. Uh, it's a security target, a uh, target of evaluation, the, the sorry, the, yeah, the target of evaluation, the actual product against um, different protection profiles um, uh, or, or defined uh, protection profiles and, and security targets and or uh, security targets. So um, we have uh, standards um, uh, criteria that have been defined by the the process and the definitions uh, the documentation standards provided in the common criteria in uh, common criteria document part two um, and then um, the the analysis of the the actual product the uh, the device the software the you know whatever it is that that is being uh, evaluated here um, against those defined criteria now uh, there are seven evaluation assurance levels of uh, increasing rigor. Um, so uh, the the early ones, and as I say, you know, you can get up to uh, is it level three? Is it level four? I think it's level four. Uh, you can go and download part three yourself, and and uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, you know, there's the the first. Uh, four levels, um, you can do an evaluation uh, in terms of the, the common criteria um, and, you know, pass at a certain evaluation assurance level without actually uh, testing or even having um, a, a product. Uh, to evaluate, uh, it's you know it's going to be uh, done on the basis of the documentation provided by the the vendor. Um, as I say, um, uh, Windows uh, is has passed the common criteria, but it's at the the highest level, highest evaluation assurance level that you can get without actually having a product without actually doing any testing. It's all based on what Microsoft says in regard to the uh, protection profile, the security target that it's evaluated against. Um, does it, you know, does Microsoft say that it, it meets these criteria? Um, so, you know, the, the you know, this is not to say that the common criteria doesn't provide um, uh, a, a standard, a, a means of determining evaluation, um, a means of evaluating whether or not this is appropriate um, as a product um, in our systems providing for our security and, and reducing our risk. This is um, somewhat defined. Now, at these uh, lower levels, one might consider them lower levels, um, it is possible for the vendor to just lie. But 
if anybody does go to the higher levels and does actually do testing and finds out that uh, no, what they said about their product is not true. It does not have these facilities. It does not have these capabilities. It does not provide um, the the protections that it says it does um, and, and the functions. Uh, well, you know, obviously... That does not speak well for, for the company, and and uh, you know you're gonna you're gonna lose credibility there. So, um, yes, to a certain extent, um, we are in a situation uh, to to certain levels uh, where we are trusting the vendor, um, but you know we're doing that all the time, and mostly we're just doing it with their marketing material. So uh, we. We need to uh, understand what is being provided in terms of assurance and what isn't being provided in terms of assurance. So, um, as I say, um, the common criteria is the, uh, the origin of the, the idea, the concept of the functional and assurance requirements. And that, that's a very important aspect, as mentioned before, uh, right back in security management. Understanding uh, not just what the tools are, but what the tools are actually doing and whether they can report on whether or not they're actually doing it. Um, so, uh, and I've mentioned we've, we've got the... Uh, standard that can be downloaded uh, you go to the common criteria website uh, part one is the introduction the general model the terminology <clears throat> um, I, I would recommend you do that um, part two the security functional requirements this gets into a lot of detail um, if you uh, are heavily into security architecture and uh, requirements definitions um, it, it probably is a good idea to uh, uh, to download and, and uh, uh, read through that uh, part three security assurance requirements um, establishing uh, uh, or providing you with the uh, standards for documentation for uh, establishing the um, uh, the assurance requirements um, and components and uh, dealing with uh, that uh, set of, of stuff um, that is going to be uh, uh, you know only if you are really into uh, product evaluation um, and otherwise um, you know, it's it's mostly useful if you suffer badly from insomnia. Um, I'm you know I'm not saying it's uh, you know not valuable stuff. It is, but only uh, for certain uh, individuals within the profession. Uh, 